guys, we're at the Florida RV Super Show offsite here. Lux has their own private venue at the Science Center. And uh, we're here with Erin. She's the representative for Lux. It's going to give us a tour of their brand new toy haul. They're really excited. Erin, take it away. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, absolutely. So this is actually our brand new toy hauler floor plan. This is the 46 FB front bath. Um, it's different than our other floor plans because of the front bath and we'll kind of talk about that as we go inside uh, but since we're outside we'll talk about our beautiful full body automotive grade paint it is beautiful and you paint the slide rooms too that's real full body paint yeah. that's real full body paint yes absolutely so it's you know match your truck match your favorite sports team um, the tsunami here has a drop shadow that uh, he's kind of zooming in on right now a little bit a little bit more to your left but um, it's three coats of clear wet sand cut and buff on our high gloss fiberglass walls so it's spectacular yes wonderful <laughs> um, so obviously we're at the garage section and we can go up into the garage if you like but we've got two awnings up above one over here and one on the rear of the patio I like that yes that's a big plus yeah so um, we can go ahead and we've got the solid step above stairs above the stairs go ahead. <laughs> into the garage area yeah. Yep, so in here, um, we do already have the easy tracks down, but typically we like to wait until delivery so they go right where you want. We just wanted the visual of having the easy tracks down here. So Excellent. the 46 FB has an 11 foot, eight inch garage. Um, we can see some of that is taken up here by the half bath. Now, a lot of people ask, um, do you have to have a half bath? You do not. Standard is no bathroom back here, but you can have a half. You can even have a full. It just depends on what you're hauling. So it depends. We call this a flex space garage for a reason. It can be a garage, it can be a remote office. There's lots to do back here. I know you also had the option of turning yes, this bathroom. Yes, absolutely. I remember yes. from last year we so were discussing it. We did, yes. So if you're going to haul two motorcycles, uh, you mm -hmm. might want to turn the bathroom sideways. And like there, there's a the flexibility there. Correct. I believe Lux is, besides spacecraft, the last full custom where you can change a, a lot of different things inside where DRB no longer is doing as far as the high-end toy right. haulers you guys are pretty much the the um the last surviving high quality consumer grade uh rv for under a half a million because the spacecrafts have gotten like really like one of the shows yeah it's, it's beautiful but it's eight hundred thousand dollars and that price is most people Ooh. out of the market right yeah i did not know that but yeah that's, oh that's my a gosh. Whole lot of price <laughs> yeah um absolutely <laughs> um Sorry, I was lost in my thoughts there, but that's the, like, Well, we were just talking about um, the flexibility of being yes. able to do what you want with yes. the Lux. So it, like, you, know, you, you mentioned the paint yes. outside, you can do whatever you want, any color you want, mm -hmm. match it to your, or to your truck, truck yep. or your favorite sports team, like yeah. you said. Uh, and this can be turned sideways, and, and yeah. there's a lot of flexibility Absolutely. Where, where it's kind of like, have it your way with Lux, right? Mostly, yes. Um, there are some big things that we don't do, so we try not to move any walls. Yep. We won't move a lot of plumbing and kind of the big brain electrical stuff we like to keep kind of in the same spot. And that's all for serviceability if anything needs to be worked on. Um, you know, the brains of your coach kind of needs to be in the same way, the wiring. Um, and we'll look at the sure. service port to see our wiring, which is one of my favorite parts of our actual construction build. So, Is this a rubber coin flooring? Is that what they call that? Or it's like a, is it a rubberized yep. flooring? Yep, rubberized. Yep. Nice. Um, uh, gas proof, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yep. And this is a toolbox That's a toolbox that goes all the way in the width. Nice. So yes. You, put up, you put your... Uh, jacks or whatever else mm -hmm. you want down mm -hmm. here and these are these are these this yep. is a happy jack system. that's the happy jack system so um one of the coolest personalizations i've seen with it is they didn't want the beds um so we made them some drop down desks instead so they could put their bikes in when they were traveling and they came down um to be the remote office when they were ready and stationary that's pretty so. cool so yeah. if you're working on the road full time and on the road you have an office back here yeah uh, we've seen a lot of people do that in the rv world <laughs> And th this patio here is really quite fantastic yeah. too. Yeah. Is that a, what they call a three season patio door? This is, yeah, this is the three season veranda door. So, and again, it's just three season. Um, we can close it. It's got the screen here, the drop down and the glass. So if you want to breeze in your garage, you can't have it. The DRV that we have has plastic. I like the glass, it's definitely yeah, a, a step I up. Yeah, like it. Yeah. Love the L LED lights there. It must be nice and bright at night back here. Yes. I think we have one on ours. There's three on this. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And this is a lipper uh, patio. Patio. Yep. This is yep. the patio setup. So, in, yep. You got a set of stairs here, too, huh? Yeah. That's absolutely. a nice. I've seen them off the back. I like it off the side better. I do, too. Yeah. Most campgrounds, you don't really have that much room. Yeah, there's not so. a lot of space. So, if you're coming out from the track and you don't want to get the, the inside dirty, you can 
take your, your shoes off. You notice I have the dirt bike on the back of my truck over there. So yeah. <laughs> we're usually in the pits or something or at a track. So you can take your boots off here and come in and this and you know use this bathroom without messing up the, the, the main living area. Absolutely. Chrissy's uh, in the process of training me and she's got me taking my boots off in here now. Hey, there you go. <laughs> we're working on putting the toilet seat down too, right? <laughs> Awesome. This is really nice. It looks like a, is that a porcelain uh, toilet? Yep, the toilets are porcelain and you can either do, that's the foot pedal or the, we have the macerators available as well. Nice. Um, I'll grab this cube right here. I think it just hit the pipe. Oh, wow. Um, so this is our wall. And so out here is the high gloss fiberglass. This right here is a graphite infused foam. It's um, moisture resistant, mildew resistant, wow. flame retardant. And um, I'll step on it because that's one of my favorite things to do. Put my full weight on. That must add a lot of structural rigidity too, right? Mm -hmm. In yep, uh, it is strong. Uh, uh, insulation factor, like an Insula R factor? Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely. That's, does so. anybody else do that in the industry? or, or not? not that I'm aware of. I would think the soundproofing must be tremendous too. And, and yes. that, uh, uh, keeping the heat out and the... And the insulation. Um, the insulation factor is yeah, crazy cool. with it. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yes, soundproofing was a great, great one to point out for sure. The doors look like really well built. Like compared to most of the RVs yep. you see at the show, it's a solid core door. This is like really nice. Yeah, and you don't have to have the frosted panel. We can do the whole, um, not everybody likes the frosted panel, so you can just have the panels filled in. The um, stereo system back here too looks like it's a step up from what you'll normally find. This is an Alpine Bluetooth with a little mini subwoofer there, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Are the speakers plumbed outside also? Yeah, we have speakers outside. There's a, a different control for the radio outside, but it's powerful. So if, if like our kids showed up at the last race event we're at and mm -hmm. my son and his girlfriend slept on the top bunk mm -hmm. and my 25 year old daughter slept on the bottom bunk. So, you know, they're all at, they're adults now, but there was plenty of space with a toy holder like this. You have so much flexibility with the, the living arrangements. If people come over and I really like the idea of half bath, you can keep them out of your bathroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice door too. Look at that. Yes. The vapor wow. door. <laughs> That's really nice. Do you nice. recognize this one? Oh. Yeah, this is the, um, what's Lambright. it? Lambright. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. This is definitely a step up. We got the, um, what are we getting ours? What are they we, called? We, we've got the Thomas Payne, Thomas Payne. peel away. And they, oh. they, they peel up at the top. <laughs> yeah. I have heard that, yes. We're actually going to step up and order one of these. Much nicer. I'm six foot two. Anybody watching this video, when you sit in an RV, make sure you extend the chair because my feet hang four inches off the bottom of our, um, the, ones the that Thomas Paine ones. Yeah. So yeah. these ones are better for a tall person mm -hmm. and more comfy for a short person. Like yeah. my I mean, neighbor is five we, foot two. We, so we literally spent like two, three hours yesterday. This is about <laughs> as good as you can get for RV <laughs> furniture. It's top of the line. Absolutely. Much. Yeah. Love the finish. You know, this is just spectacular. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, this wow. is very nice. I love this floor plan. Chrissy, why do you like this floor plan? Uh, again, um, kitchen person, residential fridge. I like the full counter. You know, the big double base sink, you know, this is a single sink, but farm sink. Really nice. Um, Huge sink. You, you can almost take a bath in there. <laughs> 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 but big I, stove. Yeah, this is similar layout to ours. JX450 that we have yep, similar. Very yeah. similar, except you can walk around the counter. You know, that's the only thing. Yeah, this um, pant, this um, uh, yeah. pull out. Yeah. We love this uh, this style yep. of uh, yes. kitchen. This if you, is my favorite. The beauty. Tell 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 us why you like this setup the best. Okay. See all this nice cabinetry. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you put all the clutter. This is like Ken has his own side mm -hmm. of drawers and cabinets and bins and everything, so he can put all his clutter stuff, so it's not all over the table. <laughs> no. And it's usually just us too, so we usually keep it pushed in like this, or maybe out a little bit of the way. But yeah. you can also go all the way out and have four mm -hmm. chairs. Correct? Yep, absolutely, yeah. Yep. So. Do you have a favorite floor plan in in the uh, Lux lineup? I do. Um, and Is it I, a toy hauler? Or? Well, I do have a favorite toy hauler, and then I have a favorite of the regulars. Okay. Um, so the favorite of my toy haulers is um, actually the sister kind of the, to this floor plan. It's the 47 FB. Okay. Um, it'll have the bedroom and the bathroom switched in the front, but it has a bigger garage, and it okay. allows for a side patio. Um, okay. So that's why yeah. one of the reasons I love it. Because if you go to a campground and you don't have rear space, you can take out the side patio and vice versa. I think so that's 40, what we looked at yeah, last year. 47 FB is my favorite. Yep. So it's very similar to this, especially in this kitchen area. Yeah. Um, for me, I do the Televator instead of just the regular standard TV. You gain an extra uh, two windows and it just brightens yep. it up a lot. 
I'm not sure if the camera does justice to how, how this big this room feels for an RV, but this particular floor plan, I think, gives you the largest living area. It feels like the largest mm -hmm. living area. I love the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, the ceiling's worth talking about. Tell us a little about, about the ceiling. What is that? Is, it, is that soft touch or is it a... Um, that is looks like our soft touch yeah so the toy haulers don't usually come with the soft touch and you'll notice that the wall board is on here instead of our soft touch walls okay. um i can't reach it obviously <laughs> i'm only five seven um but the soft touch ceiling is a part of our our lineup it's about an eight foot ceiling and it's very tall oh yes. yeah are these adjustable vents for the um hvac mm -hmm. so you can if you wanted to twist that so it's blowing cold air here we are sitting or not yeah you yeah. can adjust that which yeah. is nice this is, we've sat in a, very we few sat, people sat in as many RVs as we I, have. We it, like the we, TV in front of, yeah. not on an angle, <laughs> not not right up against your face and on an angle. Yeah. <laughs> this is for watching a uh, home theater system. Yeah. Does this have a subwoofer and the, and the, and the extra speakers in it? On it this? does. Um, the subwoofer hides behind the entertainment center. Have you ever sat in it and watched a really cool movie like uh, with good good audio like Top Gun or something oh, like that? No, I haven't. Yeah, I got it. I have It's incredible. Yeah, with these surround sound systems in the RVs, uh, this is probably as good or a step up from our DRV. Mm -hmm. It just sound awesome. And, and it's a relatively small space, but having the seating right in front of it is excellent. I this, would do a desk this here. Could be yes. A desk also, right? Yes. Yep. We've done several desks there. Um, my favorite was the solid surface. I actually did a video with the bosses, and um, their desk there is beautiful because um, they wrapped it around. It wasn't just like straight. It kind of came in at a corner. Nice. It was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I like that. Let's take a look at the, at the front bath. Yes. Come on this. in. So typically, for the rest of our floor plans, the bathroom would be. Here, right here, yeah, um, and it's much smaller than this. But so here is the bedroom first. Thank you. There we go. Ah, perfect. So we have the bedroom first here. Yeah. King size bed. There is storage underneath. Um, reading lights, individual. There are USB 110 combos on each side of the bed, so you're not mm -hmm. having to fight over charging space. Yep. Um, if you choose to drop down to a queen, we can continue the nightstands all the way back. Um, and my favorite thing to do with that is to get the solid surface countertop as nightstands because we can do our wireless charger on those. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. There's so many <laughs> options with Lux. That's that's the difference. You, you know, the they really the side. they really do a lot of options. <laughs> are these pull out drawers? No, those are nope. They're regular drawers, but they're. So this is the top of the slide room right there? Yes. That slides in? Yep. Nice. To the bathroom. <laughs> that is a huge bathroom. Yes. It's nice having direct access to your clothes so you don't have to, uh, um, you know, walk through the, the bedroom. Yeah. The shower, everything's right here. Yeah. Is this where a washer and dryer would go? It is. Just pull it? Yep. Oh, check this out. True full timer setup right here. It's got the Splendide washer and dryer. Really nice. Now, that this is something we're looking into. Mm -hmm. Is this this one the best unit? We get? found it to be the best unit. Um, we've been using it for several years now, and the feedback was really good. That's yeah. So, yeah. Speaking of feedback, this coach was built out of our owner's feedback. The want for more space in the bathroom, even though it is a toy hauler, but. Right. So we do listen. Really interesting shower set. Look at this, it's got like, what, four really? shower heads? Plus nice hand hand. Hand. Yes, we got those in They're and we were deep. so excited. The pressure is crazy. Wow. We tested Check it out. out. <laughs> wow. Actually five, it's got a um, it's fancy. faucet on the bottom. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five, six heads. And yeah. It looks like it's made of stainless. Really nice. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that. And it's got a rain shower wow. on top there. Deep I haven't seen one of those in an RV before. That's really cool. The skylight and of course the uh, fan in the ceiling. There's a waterfall style faucet. Nice. Isn't hers? Cabinets. Set up. Shoot. I really like the uh, stone surround that you have here. Yeah. Around the, uh, around the fireplace. That looks really nice. Yes, real stone. Not let's a picture. Let's, let's go outside to look at the uh, uh, storage underneath and some yeah. of the other exterior features. Absolutely. We've got the uh, 
flip down steps here too, which is a little more stable than the pull-out ones. Yes. I always like to talk about the door because this thing is not gonna fly open. It's very, the hinges are just, it's a very heavy door. Heavy. It's commercial grade. Oh yeah. It's really a good nice. one. And this is your sound system control? Yep, yeah, that's the one for the outside, the Jensen. It's got powerful speakers when we're setting up here for the show. We always like to jam out Crazy to some tunes. tunes. Yeah. Um, above we've got the um, entry camera and scare light for the four camera system. And there's one of the marine grade speakers on this side and the others on this side. Um, this right here is the vent out for the dryer. So both the microwave and nice. the dryer are going to be vented outside. Nice. So, nice. Um, and here's the pass through. Nice heavy duty strutted doors. Shocks hold this. Oh yeah. So, and I don't know if you can get all the way back there, but oh, I love to point out excellent. our wiring. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Well done. Oh yes, we're very proud of our electrical team. They're great. So um, we're not a piece rate. We pay our guys hourly. Mm -hmm. um, so we work really in weeks, not hours, and take the time with our coaches. That's the inverter over there probably? Yes. Really nice. Everything's really finished quite nicely under here. It's got the same commercial uh, rubber coin flying that was in the garage in here, so that, that could take a beating. Mm -hmm. And you've got twin 30 uh, gallon? 40. 40 gallon? Yes. A one on each side? Correct. Nice. Yeah. Jack system is really beefy too. Yeah, so it's the equalizer jack system, so it's going to be hydraulic. Um, and we can look in the bay, they're color coded. And they're not daisy chained, so if one goes out, they're not all going to be inoperable. Okay. Um, and definitely much more serviceable because they are color coded to figure out um, when you do need service. It's way over here. You can see each of these lines has their own color, and then the corresponding jack will have the same color that's on these lines here. You can see the attention to detail in the wiring under here and fit and finish everything's really, really nice. Is that a 7,500 watt? Hmm. This one, 6,500, 6, I believe. Yeah, I believe. Standard. Yeah. Yep. And then we've got four AGM batteries down here. Those are now standard. They're actually in a good spot too. It's a bit easier to pull out. But the ones that we have in the DRV, there's two in each side. They're in the kind of little trays. Oh, gotcha. Looks like, a, looks like it's, it's easily serviceable, which is a big plus. In That's five, three to five years, whatever, however long down the road, you replace your batteries. It's nice to be able to get to them easy for sure. Absolutely, serviceability success for sure. Here we are on the other side. You can see the two big slide outs here: the bedroom slide and the main living room slide storage area on this side along with here. The wet bay, yeah. Um, and I don't know if you can get further in here. It's a little dark, but um, that's our water filtration system. Oh, wow. And here are our PEX lines. They're all insulated. Nice, nice. So uh, four seasons um, insulation. Yeah. Absolutely. So if it's freezing cold, your pipes aren't going to burst. Yep. I've never seen a three filter water filtration. That's pretty cool. Yes. They're normally one, right? Normally one. Um, just the wet bay with the exterior hose, your flushes, winterization, um, and something I didn't point out on the inside for the um, the main water shutoff is out here, okay. but each water source on the inside, sink, shower, washer, will have their own shutoff inside. Oh, nice. This is the, the shutoff? The main. main the main. Yeah. But How are they drained? It's probably on the inside. Uh, yes. It's the exhaust from the generator. Oh. So here's one of the furnace kickouts. Uh, this coach in particular has our winter package, our Arctic package, so it's going to have two 30,000 BTU furnaces. Nice. The PEX, um, PEX lines are insulated like we just looked at, and your tanks already get a 12-volt heat pad on top. It'll give an extra one to the fresh tank, so. Excellent. Oh, wow. So if you don't winterize it when you get home from bike weekend, it's still cold in Connecticut, you can just plug it in and keep it heated up until the weather comes can. around. Yeah. It really is a pain in the butt winterizing these things. I know I do mine every time we get back from bike weekend. <laughs> That's a nice feature you don't have to keep it plugged in. The tr Truma Hot Go. Yep, Truma On Demand Water Heater. So is that like you can run the hot water as long as you want? I don't recommend that, but um, yeah, inside it'll have um, a nozzle and it'll have eco and full and it just, yeah, it's on demand, so whenever you want it. So if there's no water tank that's being heated, Correct. it heats it as you use it? Yep. Okay. So you're not wasting energy? Tankless, yep. Excellent. So going down the side, you can see the uh, Beautiful paint job continues on the edges of the slide room, which is something 95% of the RVs that you see 
slide rooms on the inside here are just plain white. And it kind of fills them up when the slide rooms are open. They don't do this. Oops. It's all continuous. That's what you've done here. The two windows here, those are so that you have uh, the beds set up each level because of their own window ventilation. Mm -hmm. You get a nice ladder to go up the side there. Nice. How many gallons of fuel does it hold? 60 and 40. So you've got twin fuel tanks on the back here. Uh, this one, the front one runs with the generator. The rear one is correct uh, for, for fill. Off, off the fill which Other side right here. Right here, that's yes. Where, um, actual gas pump so if you want to fill up your your motorcycle your ATV or quad and also when, if you ran out of fuel on the front one you could use the back one to pump into the front one correct correct really nice well I heard the interior cherry color looks fantastic on your other new 2023 can we go take a look at that one oh absolutely let's go check it out really Tell us a little, about, a little bit about this absolutely stunning rig. Yeah, so this is our brand new baby. This is the Lux 46 RKB Rear Kitchen. Um, so this is our 2024 model. And if we go further to the 24? back. Yeah. Already out, oh, right? yes. Um, we'll go back here. So back here is a approximately 12 foot of storage. Wow. They got a kayak in there. Look at that, huh? Christy. That's your, freaking awesome. Can I can put, put my paddle. Your, your paddle boards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, pretty cool. So it's got access on both sides for extra storage. Um, and obviously this beautiful Moride tray slide makes it real nice. easy. I think those are have like a 800,000 pound. I have a toolbox on mine. Oh yeah? It doesn't even phase it. <laughs> nope, nope. So we're super excited about LED that. LED lights on the back. Yes. Beautiful paint job. And look at the <laughs> access to the side storage doors here. Yeah, a lot storage. of side storage. Oh, you yes. get the big commercial grade 17.5 inch rims along yep. with the automotive disc brakes on wheels. Your entire lineup has this heavy duty. This is Correct. Step up from most yes. RVs. Standard. And this is a more ride independent suspension down. on this? Correct. So each of the six wheels moves independently of the other. So if this side goes over a bump, the other side doesn't even know it. Yes. Which is really nice. It's more ride. It's more ride. It's a nice yeah. Cooper. American Outdoor entertainment. Tires. A really nice, really nice exterior entertainment system. Yeah, it's more wide. Yeah, it's more wide. Right. So, but look at the solid steps that we look at. The, the top steps. Pardon us. Another lipper, solid step. Wow, this wow, is beautiful. This is really nice. What? Uh, oh, I like this. What is this uh, wood finish called? It's hickory. Hickory. This is our brand new cabinet color. Um, the soft touch is a new color as well. So now we have a white, a milkweed, and a gray. So it's looking to the team. This is almost like, like a, I love this. In an apartment, you know, it's, I mean, it's yeah. a really residential feeling in here. This is really nice. I like this. Wow. Yeah. This really is awesome. nice. Um, yeah. So. There's tons of things to do up here. So we've got two, we've got the dinette. Um, it does pull out another leaf as always. And we have the breakfast bar here. Um, if you don't want the breakfast bar, make it more storage. Make it whatever you'd like if you want storage down here right. um, or vice versa if you want it over here and you want to eat here so you could watch TV. That would double as a desk, would it also spot the sitting yeah. desk? Yeah, I would use this as a desk. Yeah, absolutely. You could put a, um, um, you know, desktop publishing computer yep. on there, big, big monitor. Easily, yeah. Yep. Plenty of room. So yeah, so we've got the hickory color, we've got the white soft touch walls. Um, this is our debut of our black hardware, so the faucet Love and it. the handles. Nice really dishwasher. Nice. Oh yes. Dishwasher. Stove for burner, oven. Huge fridge. Convection oven. Oh, always. Always gonna be a convection oven. I like the black and white countertops. Yes. Nice. Yeah, I really yeah. do. And I, I really like this. Um, this wood. So let's check out the living room. Yeah, absolutely. Come on down. <laughs> Come on down. I step like down the step steps, down. Which is nice. That's how you got the storage in the back, right? You're raising this up yes. a little bit. But did yeah. you notice there's still plenty of headspace up there? There is. Yeah. It's because you had 
almost nine foot ceilings in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got a jackknife sofa over here yep. and a pull out like mattress sofa over bed. here. Yep. Is this a Lambright furniture also? Yes. Yep. So you're getting the, um, what are they what's it, a, this a leather shape. fabric. Leather. Yeah. So this, this is very feel, nice. Uh, like the. Correct. 400,000 double rubs. Is what they tested it for. Yeah, that's what we were talking. <laughs> we went through all the rubs. <laughs> yeah, we were looking at the furniture uh, yesterday to replace the ones that we had there. Mm -hmm. Oh Feeling. my god. Big, big screen TV. You're going to get the stone. Yeah, because we were going to get the now. recliner, the, oh, the all power recliner with the headrest well, and a, everything. It's a one and a half bath. Huh? Correct. This is a, a true full timer's rig right here. You got a half bath right here. And then in the front, the, the full bathroom. This is nice for guests because then they're not walking through your oh, bedroom. Yes. That's a big bathroom, wow. too. Wow, that's <coughs> the door. Beautiful hickory woodwork in here. Wow, this is a really nice unit. I really like the floor plan of this. Thank you. We're really proud of it. <laughs> I mean, it's not a toy hauler, but I mean, wow. It's it's really, really, really nice design. Yeah. This is the Lux 38 GXB Gold. Tell us a little, a little bit about this one. Yeah. So the Lux Gold Series is kind of more of our starter series. They're also our smaller coaches. So this is the 38 GFB. Um, when we go inside, you'll see the differences between this and the RKB that we were just in. <laughs> um, we'll have our wall board instead of our soft touch, but the construction and everything is still the same. This okay. Is a dual axle. Correct. Instead of a tri -axle dual instead of a tri. Absolutely. A little easier to tell, probably. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> A little bit smaller, yep. Oh, but nice. That's the Brazilian island. And you don't need that very expensive for white furniture in that 35 year Really nice. So the gold, you'll always get the attic storage up here above. Wow. It's one of the That's a lot. Of that. Another half bath. Yeah, even the smaller unit comes with a half bath. How about that? That's nice. Really nice half bath, too. Well done. This is like the layout that I have right here. Okay, so you can get around both sides. Yep. Gotcha. Very nice. Wow. One of the great things about buying a Lux is the ability to choose the fabric. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah. Um, so we've got our cabinets here. We'll have a sample of each. So like this is the Hickory. We're just in the RKB. We've got our valances. So you can pick the, um, the color behind and the, sit, the pleated that sits here. Um, we've also got our fabric samples. So these are for your couches, your sofas, your love seats and that. Um, right here is an example of the soft touch. So we have the gray, we have the white, and we have more of the the beachy color as well. Mm -hmm. um, floors, um, this is what comes standard in our gold. And then we have a more of a brown tone and then more of a gray tone. So, so these wow. combinations can be used uh, on any one of the, 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 the two. There's two toy horror models, am I correct? Uh, uh, three, yeah. Three. three, just because the new one is different than um, the 45 and the 47. And then the 44 and the 48 are total different bar ballparks than these guys. So, um, but my favorite thing is you get to change the decor in every single room. So if you want your kitchen in Hickory, but you want your bathroom in the Chelsea Gray and your bedroom in the beachfront, it's possible. So if one of our viewers is looking to buy a new toy hauler, why yeah. Lux instead of uh, <laughs> Grand Designs or DRV or something like that? Absolutely. So we are built for a true four season full time build. Our walls, as we talked about earlier, are three inches thick, and it's really an industry-leading construction. We spend our time with our coaches in production. We're not spitting out a lot a week, and for the price range, it's the best in the market. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for showing us around. We really enjoyed the tour. It's my so pleasure. <laughs> so if you're in the market for a new toy hauler or a fifth wheel, give Lux a call. We'll work with you. We'll do anything you want. Thanks for watching. God bless the United States of America.